welcome to my channel. Thanks for watching this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to sickle. Um, two of the reasons why I like to sickle some of the long grass around our property is because um, when uh, there's some plants that I like to um, I like to take the grass and weeds away more delicately instead of using uh, like a lawnmower or a weed whacker. So uh, and the second reason is because we have a goat and so it doubles for food. I can dry some for hay and uh, give him fresh grasses through the summer. So today I was going to show you the technique of sickling. Mine isn't really like the best looking. It's nothing fancy, but it works. So let's uh, get into the video and I'll show you how to properly sickle. Okay, so here I've got one of these little cherry bushes that I don't want to cut, but I'd like to be more exposed and uh, not have all this grass around it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the grasses that I want to cut, and at the bottom, at the base of the grass, I want to go in kind of an arch, like a, a sweeping motion, like a crescent moon, and go across like that. I don't just want to pull right towards me. Yes, it'll cut, but I'm not trying to shave the grass and, and that uses a lot more effort than just sweeping it. Just, just a nice clean sweep across. And now this plant is uh, exposed to more sun. <clears throat> Didn't realize it wasn't quite in the camera. But yeah, there. Now this cherry bush is uh, more exposed. So I have a lot more cherry bushes around here that I want to uh, uncover. And then with these grasses, I just leave them in the sun and let them dry for the goat that we have. I use the blade itself to help push more grass into my hand. There it is. Weed. Okay. So, for example, I'm just going to do this whole way across here. Okay, I'm going to use the blade grab what I need and then in a sweeping arching motion cut what I cut and continue to grab and cut grab cut there's another cherry bush here that I want to expose. Grab the grass around it. Careful not to cut it. Okay, another cherry bush. Yeah, they're all through here. Yeah, there's a big one. Some of them aren't cherry bushes. Some of them are those maples that are starting. This is also why you're going to want to wear gloves so that you don't get your thumb underneath that's holding the grass right here. You don't want to get that thumb, so make sure the thumb is tucked in, careful of your thumb. Also, you're going to want to wear pants. I have done it in shorts, but you're going to want to minimize the encounter of this blade to your shin. Because uh, I have had some few close encounters, and it's much better to be wearing, especially baggy pants particularly, even uh, those leggings, those skinny pants, you can still cut yourself. So be careful. I recommend gloves and pants. Even in this hot weather, like today, 
I'm not exactly sure what the weather is right now. I'll take a picture and put it on the screen there in just a few minutes, but yeah. I'm already sweating. I'm in but the I would still thing. rather, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I'm in the sweater. I'm okay. But I'd still rather wear pants than shorts. You'd rather be safe than sorry. That's yeah. right. Safe than sorry. I have sickled in shorts. I've done it. I'll probably do it again, but you gotta be careful. Watch your fingers. There's a couple little cherry bushes here. Just get in behind them. And then for the goat, I even I give him either some fresh green grass or I'll give him yesterday's dried grass. Or a bit of both. bushes than what I thought, which is excellent, but uh, the grass is so long, there's so many of them that I can't even see. And what I like about sickling is I can easily get through all of them without even hacking them apart, without uh, cutting them up. So I'm just going to continue around here for a few more minutes. Oh, there's a stick in there. There's a little cherry bush. I'm going to center out the little one. This is a tiny one. I'm going to center it out, grab the grass around it, and carefully move it. Center it out, grab the grass, and then remove it. So it really doesn't take long. For me, I like to do it best in the mornings when it's really, uh, well, before it's still warm, but before it gets too hot. This maple I don't want. That's gone. Okay, so sweep across this way, like an arch, and I like to gather it with the blade into my hand. Sweep, gather, sweep. Sometimes you gotta go a couple times. So just. Grab, sweep, grab, sweep, and just keep going as far as you can until you get to an obstacle. Like for me, is this cherry bush. Around it, expose it, around this way. A little rose plant here. See how delicate that is? 
right? So between the roses and the cherries it makes the uh, work easier and cleaner and nice looking. Some more roses that I want to keep. Like that. Gather what I want. Oh, there's a stump there. Come up here. That's a big thorn in there. All right, so I'm not totally finished, but I got a lot done. I got a bit of a mess to clean up with uh, some of those weeds, but um, going through with the sickle, I was able to separate the weeds from the grass that was cut so that I don't have to give my goat any thistles. And uh, yeah, I uncovered quite a bit of cherry bushes that I'll try to keep um, pruned nicely and uh, Oh, I can already see right here. There's a berry on that one. Nice. So now that these are uncovered, I'll try and keep them looking nice. And hopefully in the next few years, we'll have lots of berries. Lots of little cherries. I, I believe they're pin cherries. Yeah. Anyways, so thanks for watching. And um, I would encourage you to get outside and get more active. And... Uh, for those who are wanting to live more off-grid, I would encourage getting into sickling and even scything uh, your grass instead of always using the gas and electric powered stuff. So yeah, thanks and we'll see you in another video.